Yeah, the first time I listened to the entire Caprices was when I was eight years old. Um, I was taking part in a master class for children um, in southwestern Germany. And uh, Thomas Seedmeier was playing uh, the 24 Caprices um, in a church. And I remember sitting with two friends actually in the hall with, with the music and we were reading the music uh, while he was playing. And um, that was the first time I heard them. That day, actually, I, I thought for myself that uh, the most, most difficult thing a violinist can play are the 24 Caprices. So the moment I start learning them, that will be when, when I really start being a violinist. So I was really proud then, uh, two years later, when I was 10, when I learned my first Caprice, which was number 17. And I played for the first time in concert, and I really felt very important that now I'm actually becoming a real, true violinist. It is such a difficult thing to record 24 Caprices that it's only possible when there's a real motivation behind it. I saw this transcription, I heard it and played it, and I thought it's just absolutely amazing what a musical poem he made out of this. A violinist usually starts practicing the Caprices at the age of between 10 and 15, and you usually practice uh, the Caprices for a certain technical challenge. I had to uh, learn the caprices again from the angle that I'm not thinking about this technical challenge that I'm really looking at the piece even without the violin that, that was actually uh, something I, I did for the first time then that I actually look at the score and I was only looking um, at the musical um, background of this piece and completely forgetting the, the technical challenge and after making a mu musical idea in my head then trying to make it work in a technical way what Paganini actually did for the musical world, starting the Romantic period, and he completely uh, uh, made a re revolution on the violin with, with possibilities what you can do on the violin. And by doing that, he was also uh, influencing other composers for other instruments, like for, for instance, uh, Franz Liszt. And I think that Franz Liszt made a revolution on the piano um, only because he heard Niccolò Paganini on the violin in concert. And so the 24 Caprices uh, may be the, the, the key uh, work in Paganini's life, but you can take any piece by Paganini for that. And I think that we really forget that most of the music of the 19th century uh, we would not have without Niccolò Paganini.